Hey everyone, Deadbine here. Welcome back to... Uh, oh, I almost said Sky Balls. Welcome back to Super Flat. Uh, we are going to hop into this vault. I, can't, I still can't get over this luck with the rabbit. I just... That's lucky. That's really lucky. I mean, it is a taiga, so they, they should be able to spawn. Um, but yeah, we're going to hop in this vault and have a good time. All right. So, our first plunderers... Oh, I didn't enchant the rest of this. We have the emeralds, and I just... I, we, we've been having a really nice conversation in chat. About growing stuff, and kids these days, and all that stuff. So. I think I'm going to try to replace this one as soon as possible, so we're not going to worry about that. I really want to get a shield going. So, yeah. all right, we'll do that. Our sword has, uh, well, I did put looting on the sword because I think that is actually important. Um, I would like a little bit more vault stone here. We have our pouches. Make sure we have this. All right. Our first plunderer's pearl vault. Let's see how it feels. And uh, let's do the thing. So Plunderer is 10% more loot, and it says slightly more ores. I thought it was more than just slightly more ores. <laughs> Raptor says, if Adrenus would have caught this stream, we talked about how old flip floats and how to grow microgreens into lettuce year-round, they would instantly know this isn't a place for kids. <laughs> That's so true. All right, that, that comment, that's a... <laughs> Uh, that's good. Can I? This is how much, how little I know. I don't know how to pin that. I wish I could pin that. Where's Carlos? We need him. All right. Anyway, southern facing vault. Find the monoliths. Oh, let's go. We're good on soul sand. We don't need those. Try to think what else we can get from this vault. All right, this is my true way out. Just give that a big old one of those. I see a lot of ornate chests down there, so we're probably gonna go loot this room. Oh, no kidding! They're gonna get a rework next patch. I'm I'm down. So this is this is what I like. This this patch. Oh, there's a monolith there too. Let's go. Um, wherever we're at in Vault Hunters, it definitely feels like everything we're going to be getting here is going to be tweaks. And not like, you know, massive, super game-breaking things, right? That's And that's the idea, which I like. So... Tweaks can happen whenever you start playing, basically. You know, where, whatever stage of progression you're at. I guess we can. We might have to deal with skeletons on this one. sniped you. I'm, out of, I'm just out of mana here. Yeah, tweaks and greed levels and... Uh, yeah, there's there's more content to come, but it's not changing already existing content is the, is the idea, right? Uh, which I really like. And the content to come is late game content. Yeah. By the way, if you guys see anything fun, you can always clip. The flying skeleton actually might make a good clip for, you know, who knows, something. Might make some make some shorts here. I 
be worth the effort. We got some leggings. Oh, right. We're, we're supposed to get more loot. Duh. Because... Plunderer. That is the reason we're doing this. Make it short than the Abdi Wilhelm scream? Yeah, true. I am not opposed to that. Somebody clip it. Maybe I'll do that. 2x vault diamond. I mean, I would imagine we got more than just those. That vault diamond. Um, from this room. But that can definitely be... Worth... You know, we need to get four to pay for our pearl back, basically. But I mean, four plus, plus some. Don't need this one. We need the, uh, the other guy. Can literally go under my base and mine this for infinitely. Yeah, that that's that kind of makes sense to me. Is this the same room as last one? No, this is an ore room. Oh, let's go. Definitely want that. Here, the skeleton. Don't they? Yeah, we gotta we gotta rework our skills here as well. You know what? I should always save my javelin in case there's a. Uh, We should definitely save the javelins for the um, ranged mobs. And I definitely need a better range magnet. I guess we could end up crafting one. It's, just a, it's a lot of steel to craft one. Because I think regardless of the way you... You do it, you you need steel. Now there should be slightly more ores here. I don't know what that means. Or you know how, how that's gonna affect us. But there's our bounty. Nice. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. We'll definitely get a lot of carbon. Well, yeah, with the plunderous pearl, we should be getting way more carbon for sure. For sure, for sure. Any. Alright, I I earned that. For sure. What level do you get that free trinket at? Also, I am actually really happy we did not do the get items at all, you know, un unordered uh, tasks, because I really like the kind of progression of it. Like, there's a reason that they're, like, are, doing the Plunderer's Pearls has a bit of a downside, because we we're, we can't meet certain gates of the uh, quest book, which is nice. To get, like, free items. So, like, there's a desire to level up. 
Oh, Pine, that means you'll get a little bit more ores than you previously got. Hope that helps. Man. Chad, I'm glad you're here to tell me these things. It's so handy. You know? Like, what would I do? Without this knowledge. Forget your shulker. No, I would forget my key tools in my rig and then lose it. Subsequently, subsequently lose it. <laughs> oh, wait. You guys didn't help me with that. You had one job, Chad. You had one job. Totally, totally my fault. But you had one job, okay? <laughs> For those who don't know, I lost my key tool in Hardcore Tarkov. It was said. Just do that. I always want to pick up the. I don't. I don't know if we. You know, most of the time they're not ores, but you never know if an ores sneaking around in there. Sad. This goes on the stack. Yeah. Again, we completed all of it. Like, it would have been way more devastating if we had lost all of our quest keys prior to doing the tasks. So. If we're going to lose our key tool, that's the time I'm, I'm going to choose to lose it. 100%. Alright, that was a pretty solid uh, ore room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry for my proficiency in menus. Okay. <laughs> that was a horrendous javelin. Maybe next time I'll keep my key tool in my butt like the rest of us. I know, right? <laughs> Lose his key tool. When's the next wipe? Yeah, I know, right? That's basically what it is. This don't do anything. I That said, I am... I know I've been saying... I've been saying this so much. I'm super excited for next wipe. Tarkov is going to fundamentally change next wipe. And you may not want to miss it. Oh, Yes. Living is good. Oh, nice viral. There you go. Heck yeah. Tar to be fair, Tarkov is very CPU intensive, but that, that should that should add some stuff for sure. I need to um I need to I need to get figure out my computer upgrades as well. I think that's a, a early new year thing for me. But I do need to figure that out. Yeah, plate carriers. So you're going to have more advanced hitboxes. So, like, flesh flesh damage rounds are going to be more effective. Um, like, in particular, things that one-shot the thorax are going to be kind of devastating. Um, shotguns are going to be even better than they were before. Uh... Yes, I want all of these things. Um, and then we're going to vaulting. So, vaulting plus plus those. It's just, it's just going to really change some fundamentals about Tarkov. 
maybe not in a modern Minecraft way. You know, you know, like modern Minecraft, you know, can change really fast, really with with a very big changes. It's not gonna be quite like that, but but for how Tarkov changes, it's gonna be massive. I think. Probably see that I can upgrade my GPU. Been running a 2070 super hot super that I bought like literally a week before they announced the 300. Oh, bummer. That's what I'm going I'm, I'm on a 2080. I guess it's a little bit better. But I think a 2070 is still pretty good. It just sucks that the three, the three, the three, the 3000 series is just as good as it was for the price that it was at. Found a used 1070 for 200 last week. Now I just need to find $200. Yeah, that's fair. So. Yeah, we'll really see. We will We will genuinely see. I mean, here's the other thing is like, you know. It's going to be, it's going to be RNG. It's going to make the fights a little bit more RNG, which will be frustrating. You know, I can, I can see this. I can see this being amazing. I can also see this being a little on the annoying side. It's like, well, they always hit their shot. Like they always manage to hit their shots. Why can't we, you know? All right. Let's keep going south. True. Very true. Yeah, it was tough to get a... Yeah. Yeah. Very, very true. But uh, the, I do understand the principle of just like... Come on. <laughs> Upgraded a GPU 470 for 1200 CAD the other day. Uh, it was very tempting. That is very tempting. Yeah. It's, that's not that's not terrible at all. And that would last you a very, very long while. I know that look around got me an extra hit, but it really felt like I got uh, hit from behind there. It's weird. Uh, uh, maybe. Oh, I should have used that one to store. Classic dirt pine. All right, let's just go east to the north. Got nine minutes here. Hey, hey, Marauder Pirate. How are you? How's the challenge going today? Very well. We had definitely some streamer loot happen. Needed rabbits. Found two rabbits immediately. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at as well as like, I would like to just upgrade the GPUs right now because that's just a quick hot swap. What the heck was that? Oh, champion. I missed. Pine cheese in the morning. Hopefully, you don't doesn't crit me. Dead pine. Why was Fibonacci afraid of five? Because five eight thirteen. All right, I do appreciate a good math pun. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you very much, Cam Cool, for the 93 months. That is exceptionally generous for sub number 33 today. Thank you, thank you. Humongous cheers and shout out to all those subs. In all those months. That's really epic of you. Or 
All right, let's do this. Oop, not that. Just testing you, chat. Just testing you. Okay, then you go here, and then we do that. Hi. This is an interesting POI. I like it. I think I've looted it before, but I do like it. Well, the fact that my system is reliable and stable for years, I know if I plug something different component, it'll be, yeah, yep, yep. That's, that's like, my streaming setup has a few flaws. Main, mainly storage, honestly, is my biggest flaw. I would say. I'm trying to, oh, they, they changed that, right. Thank God. I'm so happy that they changed that POI. Here, oh, I was gonna say, I hear things walking. Um, shoot, I don't have that much time. Okay, we'll loot this real quick and then we gotta start boogieing. Uh, I was gonna say, it's just been so stable and working really well for the past however many years. I just. I almost want to start like that's that's when I'm like I don't want to upgrade components I want to start fresh and get it to something stable with fresh components instead of dealing with the old stuff so yeah I don't know like I said I think that's a a new year's thing for for pioneer oh I put I have dash three I forgot about that right they broke don't fix it I can play my games fine. I can record pretty high quality. I can stream fairly high quality. But, and I think the thing that I think you know what the funny thing is though. I think the thing that needs upgrading for me is actually the streaming PC, not the game. I think the gaming PC is gonna get the job done. So that one might come to the. I maybe slap a new graphics card into there, into the gaming PC. Call it a day, and then um. Just build a souped-up streaming PC. You know? Uh, yeah. We got time for those. Another shield. I'll take that. For a while, I was kind of waiting to see if, like somebody would come out with like a really good one PC streaming rig or like a one tower streaming rig, if that makes sense, where you have like two, two, two GPUs. Hell, I'd even go for like a, a two GPU, two CPU, one motherboard kind of setup. I don't know if those exist, but having everything on one go while one handles one process and the other handles the other would be amazing. One terabyte M2 and a four terabyte HDD. Wouldn't mind having a two to four terabyte SSD in the middle ground. Yeah, yeah. I think we're just gonna leave. So my goal for the for the streaming PC, the souped up streaming PC, is to almost treat it like a NAS. And I know we've had we've had this conversation a million times. But for those who haven't heard this, that's my goal: is to treat the streaming PC like a NAS. Um, oh, I love this. That's so nice. That's so nice. Um, where it would have like you know. 20-ish terabytes of storage. Um, yeah, and, and SSDs are, are kind of cheap these days. And I know they're not the most reliable thing for recordings, but I'm not, like... The content that I'm making is not, like... I record it, I upload it, I thumbnail it, I delete it. Like, that's, that's my process. So, I'm not, like... I'm not as worried about losing some content, content for, like, a high-end video editing project. That's not my style of YouTube content that I want to save. I more need a high capacity so I could theoretically store a series. And if it goes away, it goes away, whatever. It's not the huge, you know, like it'll be backed up on, on the cloud plus that. Um, and I would just like to, I would just like to have to delete less of the series that I have currently running while it's running. That's all. So, yeah. And I think the even the SSD's failing is like as you get a high qual higher quality one, it's not the worst. 
Just dropped watch. Just just watch the down the rabbit hole video. The last two streams have been uh, great. That's awesome, Dale. I'm glad. Heck yeah. Yeah, the uh, I don't know if we're gonna get down the rabbit hole done. I have some ideas, but part three is rough for a solo hardcore player. <laughs> so, but it would be really cool to get. I'm assuming these are gonna lead to extra stash pages. Talk about escape from dark out there. So, all right, let's loot. Let's loot. So we can potentially get. <sighs> That's good enough that I'm going to just do it for the extra resource. And we have enough for these now. We could get a better helmet, but honestly, our helmet's really good. So I'm going to say no. And save this for eight minutes when we have double chance at better stuff. And then I wanted to make sure we added these to the list of things you grab. All right, we're just going to place you down. We're going to place you down. Okay. Ashia might have been one that I was short on. Yeah. So, how many diamonds we got? We had 16 diamonds. So, we netted 12 diamonds basically from that. I'm not really counting essence because it's just, that's kind of free, in my opinion. And then all this other stuff is just kind of free. And this is going to be all level 19 gear. You'll love to see it. Nope. All right. I think we're just going to do this. Because that's the one we want to empty out. So we can do this. And bloop. All right. Smelting is definitely good. Carbon is definitely kind of a thing we're after. I mean, I do want to get... I basically want to try to get epic and or rare pluses on the 17s here. Can we make these better? Oh, 15s where the implicit changed? Gotcha. We could theoretically make these about the same. But I think I'm just going to... We'll hold out for better ones. Like, our, our stuff's working right now. And no. Close, but no. Like, that one's tempting. We lose some damage, though. We could roll this one a few times. I really like the idea of getting, like, health plus armor plus attack or resistance, though. So, I think we're just going to say no. And let's get another chest out here. Actually, don't we have a... Oh, we literally just got our first scroll, our first chest scroll. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and grab one of you. Those will be ready to go. We knew we were getting there. Eh, not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. Okay, definitely like all that. That's a pretty low smelting. We like that. No. It's going to be really hard to beat our helmet. And no. No. That's always good. That's going to be smelted, probably. Uh, the modes of clarity actually can be... We don't need to see the curses. We're not we're not even coming remotely close to doing that at any any point soon. Okay. Uh let's finish this off real quick. Can't believe we got I cannot believe we found rabbit that quickly. What was that last one? Moss. And we're, again, we're saving the mod boxes. Those vault diamonds are not are in addition to these things. We said it was control shift. Ah, that is nice. Oh, it doesn't work with the shifting over, but that's okay. these guys hello dead pine and hello chat. singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth then it's a soap opera bad dumb tish 
But um, uh, MCQ Mommy, thank you for the 23 months and the pun. Your money's on Christmas wipe? Yeah, yeah. I forgot to ask, uh, now that all the bosses are on streets, do you think the wipe is uh, at most two weeks away? I think, so I think Blitzkrieg is, I think it's a 50-50 actually. It's not, a, I was, I'm not as sure as I was the last time there was a wipe where we're like, okay, we're sure it's this, you know, end of December. They usually do it at the end, um, like right before their Christmas, because Russian Christmas is early January. Um, but I could see them trying to get it out before the rest of Europe and American Christmas so people can ask for arena for Christmas. That's the only thing I have for that viral. And I also think like this rabbit hole event, this was the lead up to the end of the wipe last time. So I think there is actually a decent chance. It is like the 20th or even like the 16th, you know, 15th area somewhere in there, you know, um, so that they can try to promote and sell a, as many copies of Arena as they ca as they can, because I think that's actually a really good. Like you want to have it before Christmas, just from a pure business model. So, I agree. I I hope Arena distracts some of the the Omega Chads as well. Um, and I'm and I might try out Arena. I'm not I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna try Arena. You know, but like, uh, yeah, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, sorry YouTube for that rant, that thing there. But yeah, if you haven't checked out our Tarkov content YouTube, if you're new to the channel from this series, I play a lot of Escape from Tarkov. There's an entirely separate YouTube, so you guys don't get it. Well, some of the Tarkov videos are on this YouTube because uh, I haven't cleaned up this YouTube yet. But um, Dead Pine FPS has a hardcore Tarkov playthroughs. That's my my bread and butter for for Escape from Tarkov. So it's like a more slower, methodical RP ish. Um, care more about the bots and looting than I do about PvP kind of playthrough, which is really good for new players and players who just don't like PvP and Tarkov, and that's okay. So, that said, though, we're getting ready. This is going to be our first Double Vault episode um, because I feel like doing a Double Vault, um, but I need to use the bathroom first, so we'll be back for the Vault. All right, here we go. I don't think we want the Jewel right now, so we're going to do that. Beautiful. Ooh. Do we try to save for that? That feels expensive though, right, chat? I feel like I've seen these for like around a thousand. I think that's too expensive. I think we're gonna grab the boots. Yeah. 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 Much, much better. Now we're losing that attack damage. Like a mid price for that? Total buy. Uh, we're not gonna get enough shards for it, I don't think. All right, we are going to gamble on this one a little bit. All right, 50-50. Bam! Oh, nailed it. So, we can craft armor on there, which... I'm not sure what's going to be better for us. Armor or... Attack damage. I feel like I almost want attack damage. Like, we're... We are running a little short here. Also, we didn't really... I meant to do, like, these Orba Regrets. And... Because I definitely don't need this many levels in dash. I barely use it. I think I'd rather have heal. Kind of upgraded here. And then is there anything else I'm going to regret away? And something else I want to put my points into. At the moment, I don't think so. This is a little... I kind of want the double vein miner. But I think these are these are too important as well. Hmm. All right, let's try it like that for now. So we could do three to four armor, which is quite good. Could do that. And then at level 21, we could have done that, I guess. Don't care. But, well, we care about those, but we don't really need those. Oh, we could also, we could also craft mana regen. Because we are starting to, like, need mana regen. I, I 
think I kind of want the attack damage. I think I want the attack damage. Perfect. Yeah, because that nine plus... Oh, we, we're... Yeah. Yeah. That might keep us back there. And then the pants... What kind of leggings do we actually have here? We could also craft a pair of leggings. Sorry, I, got, I definitely got distracted here. We could craft a level pair of level 19 leggings. We have these. It's literally a netherite ingot. All right, let's, let's do that. I know we need to get an Obtanium going, but <clears throat> we've been all right with the uh, with this stuff. Let's let's make one pair of leggings and just hope to high roll. According to the community guide, the knowledge shark costs between two point four k and four point eight k. Okay, so that is kind of on the cheap side. Gotcha. I still think it's going to be too expensive. And we got lucky on a rare plus. Okay, and I kind of want to try to get... Beautiful. And we can craft some attack damage on that as well. Because we've got pretty good hearts from our other, our, our other two pieces here. Beautiful. So that puts us back at that legendary pace. And I think this will this will mean we're, we're closer to one-shotting stuff with the Javelin at level 19, which is what we care about. We care about exactly what's happening in these vaults right now because we're going to be playing so many of this version of the vault. So I really like where that... Oh, I guess I, could, I should add... <laughs> we should add some stuff to these ones as well. Sure. Deal deal honestly that's pretty good and then we're going to oops wrong one we're gonna do you we're gonna do you you do not add soul speed that vault was awful <clears throat> with soul speed for those who remember that uh i like having this bag okay I think we're good. Two shards left. <laughs> Emerald. <laughs> All right. Heal naturally here. What's that damage output looking like? Why was my damage output higher with stake on? What? Because <laughs> I can swing it faster? No way. I don't know. Anyway, let's hop into a vault. That was weird. <laughs> Steak. Who knew? <laughs> oh, this, this vault is... I hate this theme, but this vault theme might give us something we were missing. It might give us something we were missing. The bother that unobtainium is unobtainable, maybe pretty rarium or hard to findium, not unobtainium. Yeah, that's fair. Is that an ancient bug? Gotcha. Okay, so it's just a bug. I wonder if it like considers your cooldown to be zero. <laughs> Javelins now with stake. Uh, I think we have a tulip. We're gonna grab one just in case. But tulips are good to um, botany pot for sure. God, I hate these. I I do genuinely hate these mobs, especially when I'm only attacking with a sword. Oh, this is, this vault's gonna be miserable. 
There's actually a chance in this vault, if I just find the monoliths, I might just leave. And then these are... I, I think I might try to get a... It's not, like, amazing, but... It's actually a pretty fun way to, um... Grow spruce. Where's the Tinker Shuriken when you need it? I know, right? I just don't have any good AoE right now. So, like, without AoE, these, these little baby mobs are just miserable. Have sunflowers already. Yeah. But thank you. That's that's good looking out. Because that's, that's exactly what we need to be looking out in these vaults for. Is stuff we normally don't have. I will look for, like, specialty rooms as well. Nothing really important is jumping out to me. I do enjoy the Escalium lanterns, yeah. You heard it here, folks. Death Fight hates babies. <laughs> Cynthia says, like, the other 99% of Minecraft players. It's true. Baby mobs are... Well, let's just say Minecraft's combat's not the best. It's not the best. So when you make them smaller, it really amplifies that feeling of just, like, this is not very fun. No, I'm not a monster, Varela. I hit them with a sword. Duh. Uh, that's true. The attack speed made the made the baby mobs worse too. For sure. We're so close to two-shotting everything, which would be ideal. Oh, I actually love the Baby Creeper mod. Well, so, so the mod that I knew it as didn't, um, they didn't explode. They made little fireworks and it was adorable. Let's go on our bounce. True, when well, you're trying to attack from a safe angle on a mob farm, that's true. I know we get those with bone meal, but... Oh, well. There's some ores up there. Always need ores. Pogs in particular. Or pog materials in particular. Had the dude skeleton from Sevtech. Good. Right. right, right, right. So we gotta go north and then west. Just for a second. Still need to keep an eye for these monoliths. They're not all gonna, all gonna be easy. This is 
an ore room, right? Yeah. I think ore rooms are worth the effort. Is that a champion? Feels like a champion. Oh, mightiest of champions. Hello? You can get to me. Why would you throw something? It's not my fault I chose the high ground. That, you know, where we win every fight ever because we're on the high ground. You should have chosen your tactical position better. I agree. Rude. We're going to need a lot of black opal. Oh, I guess we're going to need Echo as well for our mob spawner. I'll feel a lot better when we get a mob spawner. You know? Or the eye spawner going. Just solves a lot of issues. Demons! They're all demons! This PI probably wasn't even worth it. Correct. I have concluded that there is indeed slightly more ore. Yeah, it's the candy theme. They just do this as an Easter theme as well at one point. so badly. I don't think it's three times loot. It's, um... The, per the Plunderer's Pearl gives you 10% more loot, not three times more loot. It's the only thing that sucks about that is the cooldown of that, I guess. Oh, I held my calf muscle in the wrong way for too long. Definitely pog stuff, so you know. Guess this works. Yeah, they had, the, they had the gingerbread man as well. I guess there was a holiday theme last Christmas as well. Oh, not the buns. Not the gumdrop buns. It's pretty good. I did get tired of that holiday theme, though, pretty quick. Yeah, gingerbread man were totally fine. Reskin zombies. I mean, these gummy bears are fine too. They're just kind of tanky, you know. That's whatever. But they're they're. It's just it's just the small size yellow gummy bears that are just like. Uh, the thing is though, they have less health. So when you do get an AOE, they just they melt faster. But I don't have an AOE yet. So. But I also just I still don't like spiders because of their hitboxes. So. It's whatever. We'll deal. 
you know, we'll deal. Yeah. I think they have a little bit less. They're like on the uh, the, the leaf slash mushroom men side of the health. Where they do a little... So some of the horde mobs have a little bit more health, but do a little less damage. While some of them have a little less health, but do a little bit more damage. Or at least that's the range I've noticed. So they're definitely in the lower health, more damage. But they hit you more often because they're... Well, demons, you know? Uh, north is where we're going. I mean, this is stuff we really do need. Sometimes you get them without spawners. No such luck. That is so many. I can't tell if it's just because of the room. Who has a crossbow? It's cheating. Ah! I thought for maybe for a second, oh, maybe we can take off one or two at a time. Nope. No, thank you. Haha, -ha, take that, spiders. Nailed it. Surely the explosion took a couple out. If only. They have far too, mal too much health for that. Oh, no, that's where I came from. I see. I feel like I went the wrong way out of there, but that's okay. We have the compass. That's why we have it. What the... Where the heck did you guys come from? Why does it does still exist. Just gonna head loosely back towards Okay, this will be worth. Loosely back towards our starter. Demon. It did four and a half hearts of damage. We already have it, but... Nice. Good amount of raw carbon from these guys. Another war room? It is. All right. No, I'm going to do good POIs only. 
course, I think there's a good POI hidden behind that one, so we're going to have to do this one. That's a lot of Laramar. Nice. Today will become you <clears throat> become useful. The short kings that don't skip arm day. Yeah. All right, so we were heading westish. Really is just a cooldown. All right, there's at least one good. What is that? What is, what is the, what are those hits? What are those hits? Lame. That's what those hits are. There. It's fine. It's a good POI over here. one echo, huh? That'd be sweet. I want those. Okay, here, another one. Not worth. Okay, worth. And then after this room, we're... Beelining for extract and hopefully some more... Uh, and hopefully some more monoliths. Get that completion crate. Although this monolith crates are like whatever. They're fine. I mean gear's gear. Doesn't matter what crate it comes from. Alright, so it's kinda like loosely west-ish. This has been a very good ore vault. I'll give it that. I will definitely give it that. All right, so our exit's that way. You know what? We're going to go get re realigned here. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, this is an x marks. No, not enough time.
Would be nice, though. Where, where did I get to? In this dang vault. I guess I went north for too long, probably. Yeah. Like, I took a north line instead of... The left and right we needed. Okay, I'm fairly certain this is actually my entrance room. Yes. I need three more. So we're going to go always turn right. And just see if, see if we can get lucky. With our monoliths. Is that one there? No. We don't have the um, the explorer. But three minutes with speed two should be enough time to to just do a full loop on the outside edge of this. Like I said, just hope to get lucky. We're not you know we're not going to force anything. We we have plenty of ores to work with. Pretty happy with the vault, I think. Nice. Do that. Okay. And I can guarantee you we've passed a room that's had a monolith in it. And it's just, you know, buried in the fluff. That's usually how it goes. It's one of the harder, harder vaults to see the monolith's in as well. The sparkles kind of blend in. All right. Yeah. Well, we came, we saw, we tried to get lucky, we did not get lucky, and that's okay. Let's just get out of here. I'm okay, I'm okay with getting out of this vault without dying. Although, we do still have beginner's grace, so like it's not a huge deal if we die. I mean, these pearls, uh, this is a cool use of these pearls. If you are someone who's like maybe a little nervous about getting off of beginner's grace, but still wants to play like the non-casual mode, um, stop leveling at 19. Use Beginner's Grace, get really, really solid gear before hopping in. That'll keep you alive. Or get gear plus a backup. I think that's a pretty good um, you know, kind of middle ground there. 172 ores mined, by the way. That is pretty slick. Uh, put you there. I'm going to start making a row for those ones. Because I think this is out of space, right? Yeah. That's something we would put into this box. Uh, wand goes into here. And then this bag we can just kind of... Lots of uh, lots of pogors. I'll take that. Got some tulips again. We have some tulips, but... More tulips means we have the potential to... Um, use them in case of we don't have our body pots unlocked yet, you know? Okay, so we're doing pretty good on Beniatite. Got a nice chunk of that. I mean, we again, we still are saving most of these things until we have our modular router set up. But once again, we might have to get... We really might have to get um, that's 
really it. <laughs> Feels like luster, but uh, the, the ores were really the main draw of that, right? Oops. Um, our mob spawner is going first. So I don't think that I don't think that one paid for itself in diamonds, but the first one definitely paid for you know multiples um, of these, which is good. Yeah, we're not gonna get to that. We have what, two hundred and seventy-nine. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, those are really not half bad leggings. They really aren't. That's kind of meh. We'll keep those in there. All right, YouTube. Our first double vault episode. You'll love to see it. We'll have more of those in the future for sure. Slowly but surely working towards all the things. We got good stuff done today. We have our double pouches. That's our first mod unlocked. We got, uh, yeah, just got some vaulting in. Got some nice armor. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Might redistribute some points here. Um, that honestly might be the, the main reason I level up. You know, hey, Beth, if I have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but yeah, we're, we got some great gem gaining. You know, we have some, we have a lot of ores here. Um, because if we can get to one Echo Pog, or if we get an Echo Pog off of the store or whatever, maybe that's the reason we sell our, you know, I probably smell almost everything to get an Echo Pog off that store because that's just worth. Because if we get the spawner going, our squid problem goes away, and then we can hope to get lucky to get, you know, something for our spore blossoms, stuff like that. Um, so we'll see, but we'll see what we get held up by first. In fact, speaking of, let's do this. Um, we'll see what we get held up by first, because if we get held up by Spore Blossoms first, it might be worth to unlock. Ooh, Kelp. Okay, so this is the last episode I'm filming today, YouTube. I am going to be AFK fishing. I will keep an ear out or keep an eye out on the map here for um, our villagers, for the, uh, the for those villagers. That's really the only way to get the kelp, I think. And if that becomes an issue, maybe we just cheat these ones in. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we tend we can technically get kelp from the wandering trader. Not help kelp. Let's see if there's any other way. I don't think there is. Yeah, it's just from these crops. But once you get one, you can bone meal it. So you can grow you know, you can vanilla you can vanilla crop it, if you will. So interesting. Huh. No way to hydrate it back into kelp, it looks like. So, yeah, that's our first major gate, but I'm going to keep AFK fishing. Uh, I might have to put some more storage on that. Um, and then we'll... Uh, I don't believe you can get kelp by, via fishing. I, I could be wrong on that. Maybe it's a certain biome thing. But I, I have yet to see kelp from uh, from fishing. Everything else there we have. Um, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. So hopefully we get some wandering traders over the night. We've had, we had legendary luck with the rabbits. Hopefully I get some legendary luck with the traders. And we can get some kelp going. Um, bamboo is only fishable in the jungle biome as well. But we have bamboo already, which is nice. Anyway, YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. Watching these all the way through. Really appreciate those who do. Um, yeah. Big shout out to those in the Patreon. Big shout out to those sharing their primes. Subbing to the Twitch channel. That's a great way to support a little bit more if you want to. But just watching. Subbing to the, subscribing to the YouTube channel, which is like a follow. It's free. Um is also another great way to support. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.